Hello! Today we're going to make these cute little one-piece rompers. And we're going to use a just a single sheet of paper. And I'm using this double-sided paper. It's really nice. It's um, solid on, in color on both sides. So this would be fun. Depending on what, which side you want to be your top or your bottom, you will start with the color or the side that you want your top to be on. You want it to be facing up. So I'm just going to fold it in half and then unfold it. And I'm going to fold the outward edges to that first crease I just made on both sides. And now I'm not going to unfold it right now, but I'm going to fold these edges to the center crease and crease it nice and sharp on both its sides, folding both of these like this. And now I'm going to unfold all of these. I'll unfold everything and you'll see there are eight long sections to this. Now the next step is I'm going to fold it all in half in the opposite direction. So I've got, so it's like this. I'm going to unfold it and fold this bottom edge to the center crease. And I'm going to leave it folded like that. Now I'm going to count my creases. One, two, three. My third crease here, on my third crease I'm going to fold it towards the center and just kind of reinforce that crease. And then I'm going to take the next crease right here, this next crease, and I'm just going to fold it backwards kind of a zigzag. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to count one, two, three. This third crease here, I'm going to fold it towards the center. And then, then on the next crease, I'll just fold it backwards. So now I have this. You can see how that looks. Now I'm just going to fold it backwards. And then the next step is I'm just going to take I'm going to turn it over so that I have this long edge facing me. And then I'm just going to take about, it's about a little over half an inch, maybe five eighths, close to three quarters. It doesn't really matter, but I'm just folding this right here so that I have this, so it looks like this. So now I'm going to take this top part and I'm going to fold these little corners right here just to that center crease. Just take a little 45 degree angle, sharp little folds, right in this top layer only. And I'm going to unfold them. And I'm going to just take that existing crease that I already have. I'm going to create a, I'm just going to collapse it down on the existing creases. I'm actually not really making new ones, except I am making a new one right here. And I'm going to just press down until it collapses nicely onto to like a square shape or a diamond shape on top of that. I'm going to do the same thing on this bottom layer, but this bottom layer is, is a lot thicker. So I'm just going to have to be extra, give it an extra sharp crease, but I'm folding these little corners right into, right to that center crease. And here I really want to make sure that my creases are nice and sharp. Open it up, get your fingers inside, and just using those creases you just made, kind of create, just create a point like I have here, and then just fold backwards on so that it collapses just like you did on the other one, like we did on the other one. Okay, so now it's and depending on the paper you're using, it will be a little easier, a little bit more challenging because paper just has a mind of its own sometimes. Now this one, now I've got that pretty lined up pretty nicely. I'm going to take this point and fold it right to this edge. And this, I really need to make sure my creases are really sharp here because I'm going to open it up and collapse and flatten it towards the inside. So I'm opening this part here and this part here and now I'm taking the creases that I just made and I'm just going to push it down and if you can see I'm actually just 
flattening these little uh, edges. And I'm just going to follow those little crease lines that I made to get that nice and even. I got that side nice, and now this one is trying to go back in on itself. There we are. So now I've just flattened. This is how it looks. You can kind of see here. This should look like this. This look, should look like that. And when you turn it over, this is how it looks. So this is basically the front of the jumper. And now I'm going to start creating the sleeves and the sides. So now we're going to take this whole section, just take this whole section and start to fold it. Um, we're going to just crease. We're taking this whole section and we're going to fold it as far as we can. Start to crease and then put your finger inside this little, under this pocket. And what you're doing is you're going to just create an angle. And you want to just use your fingers to kind of create this. I'm just folding it as far as I can on this left side and I'm just going to kind of angle it. And I'm not creasing anything yet until I find my angle. And then once I do, I just flatten it. And it's a little funny here, but, but there we go. Flatten it to a nice sharp uh, angle going outwards. And then you take this layer that's left, this little layer just gets folded right over it and just crease that. We're going to do the same thing on this side. Take the whole part, start to fold it over, and you'll see things kind of want to lift up. That's okay. Kind of naturally you'll fold it towards the center and then this will want to lift up. Just make that angle happen. Kind of take your fingers and run it along until you see that angle you're looking for. And then press flat and take this little extra piece and fold it right over. And now we're folding these little sides. We're going to fold them in and I'm just taking this edge and I'm going to lay it right on top of the bot very bottom. I'm just going to crease it like this. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Taking this bottom edge and just laying it over and I want it the same distance as the other side and the same angle so that my the shorts look nice and even. So those I'm just going to crease as well as I can. I can glue this later if I want to glue it. Um, you can do that. Um, take your little layers that are right here on the top and just fold those at an angle um, to make your sleeves. And if you make them even on both sides, the sleeves will look really good, as even as possible. You can always check it when you turn it over. So now I'm ready to turn it over and you can see I've got this cute little uh, top and bottom and what I need to do now is just fold these little corners. I can make the neckline as deep or as shallow as I want or at whatever angle I want. So I'm just going to do a little cute little V right here. So I've got the V neck and now I want to take, it's done, but I want to take these shorts and kind of open them up a little bit. So I take it and I just pull these uh, legs out just a little. And I'm not doing it very far, but once I do that, I'm going to recrease, just gently recrease, and that kind of leaves those legs, kind of gives you a little more, so you can see the shorts, that they are shorts. And next thing, if you want, you can leave it like this, or you can decorate it with a pen. I've got a beautiful pen that I love working with, uh, works on glossy paper, and doesn't it doesn't bleed, and it, it, um, it actually will go on there and won't smear making big buttons here. You can make any size buttons or a decoration. You can make stripes or anything you want to embellish your little romper. And there I can, I can do little wiggly lines. In fact, I'm going to just do a little cute little lacy thing here, maybe with some little dots. It's up to you how you want to decorate your outfit, but there it is. It's so cute. You can see I've got different colors. You can actually you can make them in different patterns and you could put them on a clothesline and you can just have a lot of fun with these. So I hope you enjoyed this and uh, hope that you can make these for yourself. They're really lots of fun. Thanks for watching.